But O'Brien is actually right what the, the, the right hand of the big brother. He knew, he here it refers to Winston, that uh, what it meant for thought he knew. The place that there were no darkness was the imagined future. The imagined future that doesn't have the big brother and this is why it's going to be bright with no darkness. But of course, this is what we call it equivocation. Equivocation. Why? Because the face of dictatorship is equivocating. Whatever they say is lies, big lies, which one would never see, but which by foreign knowledge one could mystically share in. So someone can share in the bright future even if he doesn't participate in that future directly. Well, I want to go the most important part of the, the whole novel. I'm right? going to page number 195. 195. Winston says, Do you realize that the past starting from yesterday has been actually abolished? Telling the right and asking his girlfriend. If it survived anywhere, it is in few solid objects with no words attached to them. Why? Because there is a new language called the new speak. Like that lump of glass that already we know almost literally nothing about the revolution and the years before the revolution, every record has been destroyed or falsified. Every book has been rewritten. Every book has been rewritten. Every picture has been repainted. Every statue and the street and building has been renamed. Every date has been altered. This is what the Jews, they tried to do with the Palestinian history and places. They change pictures, they, they change the names of streets, they name right of everything, even right our heritage, they usually steal it. And that process is continuing day by day and a minute by minute. History has a stop. History, which is the past. Nothing exists except an endless present. So this is what we analyze. What is he living? He is living like whom, right? An endless prison, an endless prison or a, a permanent moment of now. The past does not exist. The future is not certain. The future is not certain, right? Nothing exists except, except an endless prison in which the party is always right but nothing, no one is right but the party. I know, of course, that the past is falsified, but it would never be possible for me to prove it even when I did the falsification myself. I cannot prove that it was falsified. After the thing is done, no evidence ever remains. The only evidence is inside my own mind. And I don't know with any certainty that any other human being share my memory. Right? So this is why he is living a permanent prison. A permanent prison because the big brother usually says, if you can control the past, you can control the prison. And if you control the prison, you will control the future. So why is he falsifying? The big brother is falsifying okay, the, 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 the past because he wants to control the prison. And what is the purpose of controlling the prison? It is to control the past. Well, Now we will go to the heartbreaking part of the book. 
the O'Brien here is making himself a kind of a revolutionary person in order to deceive those who would like to revolt against the big brother. So he know he talks to a group of people, including Winston, by telling them, are you prepared to give your lives to what? To revolt against the big brother. Right? Yes. You are prepared to commit murder? Yes, look at this. Even this person who would like to revolt against the big brother using the same technique of the big brother himself, which is changing the people into robbers who cannot say no, but yes, desensitized. Even when they, uh, he asks them, are you willing to commit murder? They will say yes. To commit acts of sabotage, which may cause the death of hundreds of innocent people, yes. To betray your country to foreign powers, yes. My God. This is the people, right, or what we call it, the brainwashing. The brain washing which is practiced by some parties on the followers and these followers they think that they are right dash for example is like that right they think that they are doing something right okay yes so are you willing to kill? Yes. Are you willing to commit sabotage? Yes. Are you to go to hundreds of to kill hundreds of innocent people? Yes. To betray your country for foreign powers? Yes. You are prepared to cheat, to forge, to blackmail, to corrupt, right? The minds of the children, to distribute habit-forming drugs, hashish, to encourage prostitution, to di disseminate venereal disease. Oh, oh, oh. But then disseminate viral disease, and they tunus row, tunus row, the barad of Limana, Melifa, Alam Kulu Helgi, tunus row, and Rabu El Mordi. But to do anything which is likely to cause demoralization and weaken the powers of the party, yes, Madame Kulkum, the Gulu, yes, Kulkum, yes, I'll get two for each Bashir people. If, for example, it would somehow serve our interest to throw sulfuric acid in a child's face. Now we need sulfuric acid, sulfur. Are you prepared to do that? Yes. Are you prepared to lose your identity and live out of the rest of your life, right, as a waiter or a dock worker? Yes. You are prepared to commit suicide if and when we, right, order you to do so? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. You are prepared to do, right, to separate and never see anyone else? Now, right? No. Who said that? Julia. Julia Gallup left. Right? Okay. Why? Because she is keeping the little human inside her. But Winston, right? بفكر اه ولا لا اه ولا لا اه ولا لا لما قال له are you prepared right, the two of you who Julia Winston to separate and never see one another again no broke Julia it appeared to Winston that long time passed before he answered for a moment he seemed even to have been deprived of the power of speech his tongue worked soundlessly forming the opening syllable first of one word, then of the other. But yes or no. Nos yes or nos no. Laam, زي ما بنقولها بالعربي. Laam. Forming the opening syllable first of one word, then the other, over and over again. Until he had said it, he did not know which word he was going to say. No, he said finally. Well, okay, Madame Gulto, no, 
we will see how you are going to but like you are going to be washed up now to this moment they think that O'Brien is the leader is a leader in what a leader in uh, right the revolution and he is preparing them to revolt against the big brother right go to page 262 please on this page we have a big brother uh, i mean a quotation about the big brother what is this quotation all right the big brother is infallible and all-powerful he is the one and only every success every achievement every victory every scientific discovery all uh, all knowledge all wisdom all happiness all virtue are held to issue directly from his leadership and inspiration بتذكركم ماشي باخبار العرب <تصفيق> لما يجي يتكلموا عن الملك تبع الاردن ولا يتكلموا عن محمد بن زايد right you will find what every success every achievement every victory every scientific discovery all knowledge all wisdom all happiness all virtue are held to issue directly from the, his leader ship and his inspiration nobody has never seen the big brother why because we don't know whether he really exists or not because he belongs to darkness he is a power of darkness this is why right and we said the big brother is not a character the big brother is an idea he's a face on the hoardings a voice on the telescreens he may be reasonably sure that he will never die and there is already considerable uncertainty as to when he was born big brother is uh, right a goose in which the party chooses to exhibit itself to the world his function is to act as a focusing point for love fear reverence emotions right as if he is dealing with him as if he is god emotions which are more easily felt towards an individual than towards an right organization below the big brother comes the inner party the inner party right its number limited to six million that's inner party six million best or something less than two percent of the population of oceania below the inner party comes the outer party Ansar which if the inner party is described as the brain of the state may be justly linked to the hands and that the outer party is the hands below that come the dumb masses whom we right habitually refer to as the poles right numbering perhaps 85 percent of the population so this is the organization of what of the state he is the state uh if you still right remember we today talked about the minority of one the minority of one it means that you are lunatic a minority being a minority of one is lunatic now he is changing it he's changing that what is that 
that being a minority, being a minority, even a minority of one that all right, did not make you man. مش معناته انت مجنون حتى لو كنت لحالك okay being a minority of one it doesn't mean that you are mad there was a truth and there was untruth and if you clung to the truth even against the whole world you were not mad غيرها right so even if you are a minority of one you are not mad you are not Man, although at the beginning he was thinking being lunatic if you are a minority of one, now he is changing to tell us that there is a development in his own thought, right? حتى لو كنت لحالك مش معناته أنت غلط أنت مجنون والناس صح إذا كان كل الناس بيرتكبوا الفحش والجرائم أوكي وأنت لحالك ما بترتكبش باللي بيرتكبوه مش معناته أنت مجنون لا أنت صح Right, the quotation here. Nice quotations, which are always true. Right, Winston says, it was curious to think that the sky was the same for everybody in Eurasia, Asia, as well as here. And the people under the sky were also much the same. Everywhere, all over the world, hundreds of, of the thousands of millions of people just like this, people ignorant of one another's existence, held apart by walls of hatred and lies, and yet almost exactly the same, people who had never learned to think, but who were storing up in the, right, their hearts and bellies and muscles Uh, muscles the power that would one day overturn to the world. This is the existence of our own world, right? Yeah, this is, is covering a lot of what? A lot of people, but these people, right? What is the separation between these people? They are ignorant of one's another existence. They are held apart by walls of hatred and lies. زي اللي بيننا وبين أوروبا بيننا وبين أفريقيا الأمريكان بيننا وبين and yet almost exactly وكل واحد فينا they only think about the most important things right their hearts and their bellies إيش بدك تأكل وإيش بدك تعمل عشان تنبسط well it is almost true almost true Two hundred ninety-six, ninety-five at the bottom of the page. Now, this is the disheartening part, as I told you. When they catch Winston, and they take Julia, and they are put into the prison for the process. Of washing them, washing their own prints. On page number 209, Parsons was removed. More prisoners came and went mysteriously. When a woman was co signed to room 101. <laughs> لاحظوا انه الرقم 101 عندنا رقم الاسعاف <تصفيق> كل ما تطلع في رقم الاسعاف بقول الله يبعدنا عن 101 <تصفيق> Well, Winston noticed seemed to shrivel بدت ترج and turn different color وتغير لونها when she heard the words لما سمعت كلمة مية واحد a time came when if it had not been morning لو ما كانش الدنيا صبح when it was brought here it would be afternoon لو ما الدنيا مش الصبح معناته الدنيا المساء or if it had been afternoon then it would be midnight there was six prisoners in the cell 
men and women all said that is still opposite winston right there said a man with a chinless toothy face exactly like that one of some large harmlessly right trotted is is talking about the other prisoner the other a prisoners right then he comes to the woman again after again right the door opened with a small gesture of the officer right it created the skull faced man told him room 101 he said it just zalam al shurti wa qala zalam hada yalla anta a ghurfa 101 there was a gasp shahada and a flurry at winston's side the man had actually flung himself on his knees on the door with his hands clasped together comrade officer he cried you don't have to take me to that place haven't i told you everything already what else is it you want to know there is nothing i wouldn't confess nothing just tell me what it is and i will confess it confess it straight forward write it write it down and i'll sign it anything not true 101 the officer said room 101 the man's face already very pale turned a color winston would have never believed possible it was definitely unmistakably a shading of green يعني لون وجهه صار اخضر الواحد بصفر وجهه بحمر وجهه بزرق وجهه اذا انضرب اما لكن يتحول لاخضر عجيبه يعني right do anything to me he yelled right you have been starving me for weeks finish it up and let me die shoot me hang me send us me to 25 years is there somebody else you want me to give away just say who it is and i'll tell you anything you want i don't care who it is or what do you to do to them i have got a wife and the three children and the marrow taltula the biggest of them is six years old you can take the whole lot of them and cut their throats in front of my eyes and i'll stand by and watch it but not room 101 the officer said room 101 the man looked frantically around at the other prisoners right as though with some idea that he could put another victim in his own place his eyes settled on the smashed face of the chinless man he flung out and leaned on that's the one you ought to be taking not me he shouted you did not hear what he was saying after they bashed his face give me a chance and i'll tell you right i'll tell you every word of it he is the one that is against the party not me the guards stepped forward the man's voice rose to a shriek so I say, you did not hear him he repeated something west went wrong with the telescreen he is one that you want take him not me take him not me wow you cannot imagine what might happen right yalla door me door oh the boots were approaching again so the jism tabon mean tabon officers officers ijo the door opened o'brien came in for the first time o'brien appears as he is but still winston is mistaken about him كله جابوك كيف مسكوك مش عارف الاهبل انه هو اللي ايش هو اللي المصيبه الكبيره وينستون started to his feet the shock of the sight had driven all caution out of him right for the first time in many years he forgot the presence of the telescreen they have got you too he cried they got me a long time ago مسكوني زمان يا حبيبي right said O'Brien with a mild almost regretful irony 
he stepped aside. From behind him, there emerged a broad-chested gourd. Fa'id arid al-min kibain, maktush al-fatishat, shalawlah, zay ma bagul adil imam. Broad-chested gourd with a long black truncheon. Wa ma'a asaya. Asaya tabat al-shurta isi ma'a truncheon in his hand. Right? وين على جنابه وين ما بدك خود وين ما بدك خود right right the following page never for any reason on earth could you wish for an uh, increase of pain of pain you could wish only one thing that it should stop right كل ما تكون انت في الم كل اللي بدك اياه انه يقف الالم كيف ما يكون يكون إيش بدكم أكل أعترف بدكم ما. Nothing in the world was so bad as physical pain. In the face of pain, there are no heroes. No heroes. He thought over and over as he writhed on the floor, clutching uselessly at his disabled right left arm. Beautiful P, right? Look at this, coming to this. Even after his eyes were open, on page number 303, in the, his surroundings, only gradually he had the impression of swimming up into the room from some quite different world, a sort of an underwater world far beneath it. How long he had been down there, he did not know. Since the moment when they arrested him, he had not seen darkness or daylight. Why? Because he is in room 101. With the first blow on the elbow, the nightmare had started. Later, he was to realize that all that then happened was nearly a preliminary. A routine, a routine interrogation. يعني ضرب خفيف روتين to which nearly all prisoners were subjected there was a long range of crimes right إلو عليتها مكتيرة right like espionage and sabotage الخيانة والتخريب and like to which everyone had to confess لازم يعترف as a matter of الدكتور مش هنا. 